Hello everybody and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be making some cheeseburger sliders starting with some Hawaiian sweet rolls. This is a pack of 12. We also have a pound and a half of ground chuck 80-20. And in addition we have some American cheese slices unwrapped. Some Mount Olive kosher dill pickles chips and one medium onion that we're going to chop up half of that onion and then whatever condiments you like i like duke's mayo and some ketchup on my sliders so we're going to take our mise en knife which is awesome <laughs> if you guys haven't uh used my coupon code big cat 305 the link will be in the description below you get 15 percent off and you want to carefully and i say carefully slice bread using the bread knife this is step one i'm going to speed it up so here you really want to take your time do not rush this look at all sides as you're cutting to make sure you slice it evenly and once you are done this is kind of what it looks like uh, open her up be gentle and here you go so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video and hit that notification bell for future videos. So that's kind of what it looks like. There's not it to be perfect, but you definitely want to get as close as you can to the center so that bread does not fall apart. All right, here we go. Step number two, cut the parchment paper to size, spread ground beef evenly on the paper and season. All right, so you want to use that bottom tray of the bread as a guide and cut the uh, parchment paper about an inch bigger than that tray. And the reason why we do that is because we're going to spread that meat onto that parchment paper and because the, the meat's going to shrink when we cook it. So hopefully it will shrink to the exact size of our Hawaiian sweet rolls. So I use that, uh, that baking pan as a, um, just a container to, while I do this, but you could have just done this, or I could have just done this on the flat surface. So whatever your preference, but you see, I, I'm spreading it out evenly. And taking my time you just want to get it spread as evenly as possible and try to cover as much of that parchment paper as you can like so it does not have to be perfect obviously it's not but that's the beauty of cooking <laughs> so then from there we're gonna season our meat just with some salt and pepper and I was pretty liberal with the salt and pepper on this um, I've found over the years that when you cook burgers it's really tough to over salt them so just just enough all right, next step, we are going to, uh, I already put some oil down on the Blackstone, and now I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. I know it looks like a lot, it's not. It's kind of deceiving, but all of that that I'm putting on there is, is probably less than a tablespoon of butter. So that is prepping for step number three, toast your buns. So I do this on like a medium, to medium low heat and I just want to put the buns down here and kind of leave them alone for a couple minutes and then turn them around so they cook evenly they toast evenly I did check them in between just so uh, you want to be very gentle but you definitely want to check them to make sure they're not burning this way you don't want too hot uh, and then once they're done just slide them off and get them ready for the future use you can see how they're toasted there perfectly and Blackstone, best toaster in the world, as I've always said, and just kind of set them off to the side there. All right, here we go, this is the fun part. So we have the left side on a medium high heat, and we're gonna spread down some oil, get it nice and even on here. And you wanna make sure that is pretty hot because we are going to carefully take that meat spread and we are going to step number four sear our burgers three to four minutes on medium high heat so i use that parchment paper and i just kept pressing down with my hand a little bit it's not a smash burger but you definitely want to make sure that you have full contact of all of that beautiful um, meat spread on to the blackstone this is going to give you a nice sear so you can see how that parchment paper has really come in handy. And then we discard. Look at that, man. <laughs> that looks beautiful. I am loving it. So 
that's it we leave it alone for about three or four minutes and just kind of like a smash burger you want to see the outside edges brown up you're not going to see the bubbling through the middle uh, but you definitely want to season this on this side as well i just put a little bit more salt on the top and then here's kind of a close-up you can see it's starting to bubble up around the edges and you can definitely see the browning around the edges but that's after three or four minutes right there so i'm getting ready to flip this in, in just another minute or so um i just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like you can hear the sizzle <laughs> i'm getting hungry now it is smelling good and i cannot wait to flip this and see what kind of sear so here i just kind of check the bottom just to make sure it's not sticking it's not look at the surface of that blackstone 1901 i mean i love this thing look how black it is already and then here we go step number five flip the burger season add cheese pickles onions and cook another three to four minutes so here's the flip boom look at that sear oh my goodness that is gorgeous that is all flavor right there so we're immediately going to put our cheese down on top of that and you can see here that's why i don't like to get the slices that are pre-packaged or pre yeah pre-packaged so um, it's easier just to peel and kind of peel and peel and I don't know peel and put them down <laughs> uh, so I was a little concerned here because when I measured it out I thought I was gonna use six slices as you can see I'm barely using five I did four full ones and then I cut one in half and and barely covered that so I was a little concerned that the meat was not gonna have full coverage on the buns but We'll see if it does. So here we put down the pickles. And you, you don't have to rush with this because, again, this is like another three or four minutes on this side. So you have plenty of time to put down whatever toppings you want to put at this point. I did not cover it to melt the cheese. I figured the cheese would just melt on its own, which it did. But you can cover it if you want. It's just if you cover it, it's going to cook the meat a little bit quicker. So I put down the pickles. I put down the raw onions. Again, here any toppings you want a lot of people are going to want grilled or griddled onions which is fine just griddle them right there on the side and plop them down as they finish you can put whatever you want on these this is just kind of like my classic rendition of what i feel is a classic slider cheeseburger so onions are down i turn up the, or i turn off the heat there in the center the left side's still pretty hot because we're about done here almost and then here I get the uh, condiments ready and step number six add your favorite condiments to the buns and build your burger so as you can see I use my cutting board I stick it right there on the blackstone I love it and I put down mayonnaise on the bottom and watch how easy you get this burger off of here I mean it is just like money <laughs> that thing is perfect the big spatula definitely helps, but if you didn't have one, you could you could always use two regular spatulas, no problem. So here's kind of what it looks like after it's almost all the way built. You can see it's looking looking good. Look how together that is. Perfect. And then finally, our last step, it's not a step, but our last part is the top uh, with just some ketchup. Just you see there we're building 12 little sliders and basically the same time as it does it takes to build one so boom top is down and that's it <laughs> it's that simple here's a little close-up of the whole thing i kind of go around the whole thing here so you can see how it's built and how that meat covers the entire surface of the buns that parchment paper worked perfectly and man, I love the toasted buns, that the sear on that burger, melted cheese, the pickles, onions, ketchup, everything is coming up together beautifully. And that's it. The last step is just to cut them up one by one and eat them. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna move over here for a little bit of a taste test. Here we go, there's another mise en knife. And we just cut it through, super easy. It's already, uh, already kind of separated anyway and then look at that I'll show you the inside 
the meat is cooked perfectly. It's a, it's a perfect amount of burger there for that slider. Looks great. Time for a big old bite. Here we go. And boom, there it is. <laughs> I love this cook. It was had a lot of fun doing it. Big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out. Hey guys, before you head out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out our new merchandise as well as our new ebook, Griddling Favorites. Everybody, stay safe and have a great day.